All right, so what I'm going to show you how to do is to generate the graphs that you need for this uh, electrochemistry uh, lab that we, we did. Um, what you need to do is you need to produce a total of two different graphs, um, and they are your cell potential, your measured uh, electrical cell potential versus the log of your concentration of copper. And then the other graph is measured cell potential versus your log of uh, your zinc concentration. All right, so like I said, the graphs are going to be your cell potential, your measured E cell versus log of your concentration. Now, we're just going to make the two graphs that are presented in the figure or in the, the paper. Um, but then I want you to also understand kind of why we're making these graphs and what they actually look like. So what I'm going to do is I'll type in log. Done. Oh, let me let me zoom this in a little bit um, so that you can see it a little bit better. So we'll zoom, 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 in, zoom. Okay, so <clears throat> log of that, and then I'll just click and drag down. Does that work? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, equals log, uh, that would be B12, equals log B13, equals log B14, equals log B15. Okay, so here's our log of our, uh, that would be, I'm gonna put in brackets, CU concentration, oops, close. Close parentheses, there we go. Okay, so now the graph that I wanna do is my cell potential, all this right here as my y-axis and then my log as my x-axis. So I will go ahead and include those. I'm gonna copy, paste this over here because I'm, I'm, that's how I do Excel. Um, then charts, chart, 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 chart. Okay, well, there you go. Now, if you look at the, the document, asks you to get the regression equation for this, uh, for, this, um, for this data set. And so what you'll do is you click those data points, you will display your equation on the chart, display, you don't need to worry about your, well, yeah, let's go ahead and put our R squared value. And you can see that R squared value is 0.192. So is this data linear? No, not at all. And you can see that, that it doesn't make a straight line because it's kind of all over the place. For instance, this is first data point where your uh, copper concentration was the absolute lowest, the 0 0.0001 molar. Well, that is way over here. And then whenever it's the highest, it's really not too different from that. Okay, so that's one of our, um, sorry, that is one of our uh, graphs that we have to make. So I'm just gonna move this over here. Now what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna, this is a little bit of a, a spoiler. Um, the way that the directions are written tell you to make a log of your Zn concentration. And look at our copper concentration versus our zinc concentration. Those figures, are, those numbers are the exact same. Therefore, our log of those are going to be the exact same. Now, what that means is I'm going to copy all of that. Copy, control C, paste. Now, I got to copy just the numbers, done. Now I'm going to put this in a graph next to my E cell. Okay, so I've copied and pasted that. Now I'm gonna make my graph insert scatter plot. Oh, look at that, wow. I mean no disrespect whenever I say this, but whenever I'm looking at this, and this is the kind of thing that you look at and you're like, well, I, I made a graph, I can, I can certainly attest to that. But what on earth does this graph mean? Oh yeah, I wanna go ahead and add my trend line here. Um, so display equation on chart. Okay, good, 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 there we go. Now, I've done exactly what the procedure tells me to do. I've made my two graphs. One thing that I want you to notice though is what's happening. If you, like I've lined them up next to one another and well, they seem almost as if they're kind of going to almost like a collision course. And if you look at your data point where your y-intercept is zero, 
Why is that value? Zero comma 108. That y-intercept, or yeah, that y-intercept has a value of point, or 1.08, okay? Now my other graph, lo and behold, that's the same, 1.08, okay? So now this asked us for a regression. And if we look at our data, sorry, if we look at our data, it seems almost as if there's something that we can gain from this information, even though these two graphs kind of, well, they just a little, look a little bit, uh, a little bit awkward. So I deleted those two graphs. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a graph that is your log, oopsies, I gotta get my pen. Okay, we're gonna make a graph that is cell potential versus, cell potential versus my oopsies, computer, okay, there we are. The log of my zinc concentration, I don't know why the computer is doing this, it's going bananas, it's just going crazy. Let's try erasing some of these things, okay, there we go. Um, log of my zinc concentration over my copper concentration. Okay, so I'm gonna make a graph that basically is all of my data like such, okay? So what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna type in equals, so um, equals log of my zinc concentration, this is my data set on the left-hand side, that is my zinc concentration is one molar over, well, what's the concentration of my copper solution? It's one. Okay, next data set, next data point. It's log of zinc is still one over 0.1. Log of one over 0.01. Log of one over 0.001. And log of one over 0 0.001, okay. Now notice what's different about these data points is that these values are positive, okay? And our previous values were negative. Now, ultimately, this is going to be helpful and productive for us because what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to compare electrolytic cells where we have a kind of extreme differences. When our zinc concentration is, um, what would that be, 10,000 times that of our copper concentration, and whenever our copper concentration is 10,000 10, times that of our zinc solution. Okay, so what I've got here is log of, I don't need it, uh, log of Zn over Cu. Yeah, Cu, okay. Now, this one over here, this column that I've labeled log of zinc, well, I'm just going to relabel that as log of Cu over, uh, or what was that one? Yeah, log of Cu over, no, I'm going to label that as link uh, log of Zn over Cu. That's still that same thing. Now, what I don't need to do or don't need to worry about is I don't need to worry about changing any of these values because this value right here, zero, is the same as the log of one over one. This next value, negative one, that's the same as the log of, and I'll just show this to type it in, over one. So I don't need to worry about changing any of these because my copper concentration is one and that one is in the, not in the denominator. So now what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to copy all of my cell potentials, my measured cell potentials, and I'm going to put them right here, oopsies. Copy these. Why is it not copying those? Oh, because I'm in a different settings. There we go. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. Copy, paste, good. And now my log of my zinc concentration. 
copy, copy, paste. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just pasting those numbers. That's all that I want there. Okay, good. Now, what I can do is take a look at all of my values here. And again, my axes are going to be Zn over Cu and measured, oh wait, So I'm going to take all of these data and see what I get whenever I put it all into one scatter plot. That's not what I want. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all these, paste them down there, and then copy all these, and paste them down here. Okay, so. What I'm looking for is a graph that shows me my cell potential on the y-axis, and then my x-axis is my concentration of my zinc compared to my zinc, my zinc compared to my copper. So scatter plot, scatter plot. Okay. Now we've got something that spans the the first two quadrants of a graph. So we also see a little bit more of a trend, something that starts particularly high and ends, well, quite a bit lower. So we see an overall negative trajectory. And so whenever we are asked about a regression for this equation, or for the, these values, this is the regression equation that we're looking for. So I do want you to go ahead and make this graph because this is, intended to illustrate everything. So on the left-hand side of it, what we can see is the left-hand side shows us whenever our concentration of our zinc is very high, or very, sorry, when our zinc concentration is very low compared to our copper concentration. On the far right-hand side of the equation, that shows us whenever our copper concentration is very low compared to our zinc concentration. So this gives you a mechanism to kind of imagine, okay, if I were to try to produce a electrolytic cell, what would I want to do? Would I want to get the zinc concentration even lower to see if I could get more of an electrical charge or electrical potential out of it? Or would I want to increase my copper concentration? Okay, so this is arguably the graph that is intended to be made. So what I would like you to do is make this graph. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good one.